Hello, this is Grant showing a quick tip for net tuts on some really neat new form input types that are completely new to HTML5. You know, I've seen some cool new HTML5 features like geolocation and video before, but HTML5 also has some really cool new form types that certain browsers are throwing their own twist onto in order to support. So in this demo, we'll take a quick look at the new autofocus and placeholder text features available for any form, and we'll also play around with the new email and web address fields. So to show us what some of these features can do, we'll create a quick sample contact us page, which will show us how these fields display and interact on different browsers. So to begin with, we'll open up Coda, or we have Coda open, rather, where we already have just a preformat HTML page with a body, form tags, and a simple submit button ready for us to start typing in what'll be our form. And to start, we'll go ahead and enter a simple text field for a user's first name. So we'll say input type equals text name equals first name, and then we'll close the field. Now here's where the cool feature comes in, and that's placeholder text. And this will simply allow us to set some placeholder text for that specific field that appears there automatically until that field is clicked on. So to implement this, we'll just add a new placeholder variable in the input tag, and it'll appear. So we'll say placeholder equals John. And there we go. Now we'll save that, and if we go into Google Chrome and refresh our page, there we go. Now when we click on it, it disappears. So that's the new placeholder text field. And that feature is only available right now in Google Chrome and Safari, but for the others, they'll just ignore the extra markup. Now the next feature we'll look at back in Coda is the new HTML5 autofocus feature. Now normally when we create a form and we want a field pre-selected automatically, we might use a little JavaScript. But instead, this feature lets us autofocus right on a certain field when the page loads. If we create a new text input field for last name, which we'll do right now just by copying this, we'll say that's also a text, except we will call it last name, and we'll get rid of the placeholder field, and instead we'll replace that with autofocus. Just the word, not in quotes or anything. Now if we go back into Google Chrome and refresh the page, notice that without any JavaScript on this page, this field is instantly auto-selected. Now, this feature is only sported in Chrome and Safari and Opera, and hopefully it will be submitted in other browsers too soon. Now, those are the two new form tools that are available in HTML5, but we still have a few new form input types that are completely new, and we'll first take a look at the web address field and email input types. So, first of all, we'll add a website email and email fields to our page back over in Coda, and let's do that right now. So we'll just copy this and Instead, we'll say URL is the type, and we'll say URL is also the name, and we'll take that, and then we'll also copy that down here and say email and email. Now here's where some of the really neat features come into play. If we go into the iPhone simulator this time in OS X and refresh the page, um, We'll select the URL field to start with, so that's the third one down, which is right here. And now notice at the bottom of the screen, as soon as we select that, we'll have only the dot forward slash and dot dot com buttons, which are three values that are usually the most common in a web address, which are pretty neat because this, those disappear if we were working with something like regular text. Now, if we move on to the email field, we'll see in a smaller we'll see a smaller space button, except we'll see the at symbol and a dot, and those are again very common fields in a email address. Now if we go over directly into Opera, and we'll refresh the page again, and we'll visit the email field over here and type in something that's not an email. So say we'll say tutsplus.com, and we'll hit the submit button. Now notice right here that Opera gives us this flashing red error that will tell us that tutsplus is not a legal email address. Now keep in mind that this error is being generated directly by Opera, so there's no JavaScript involved at all on our page, which is pretty neat. So we have that, but if we entered a correct email address, so say google at google.com, and we'll hit submit, then our form would just regularly submit and it would work. Now that's all for now. There's our HTML source code that we have for just a couple new quick, neat features to HTML5. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found some of the new features that I introduced very useful. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.